Sarita Hicks and her 16-year-old daughter Pam left the Arlington Courthouse late last month hoping it was finally over. After we won, I was so happy. I didn't think that he was going to be crazy. They're talking about 47-year-old Bruce Steinman, an IT guy from New England who Hicks met on a flight from Boston to D.C. in late 2011. Over the next three months, they became friends, then lovers. He showered her with gifts, including a new iPhone, and put it on his family plan. That's when he got info on all her friends and contacts, and then it started. He sent a, a message to people saying that I have STDs. She figured out it was him and ended the relationship, but the cyber attacks were just beginning. Suddenly, her name and face appeared on escort sites, directing men seeking sex to call numbers that rang at her job at a bank and her supervisor's cell phone. The bank fired her. After he got me fired, now there's a picture of me having intercourse, intercourse with him. A video she do. said he'd secretly taken, which he sent to all her daughter's no. Arlington High School Twitter followers. And everyone was asking me, oh, is your mom a porn star? And I'm like, no, she's not. I wanted to kill this man. Next, he used existing porn sites to advertise mother and daughter for sex. And by texting, directed Johns to their apartment some 60 times. There's men outside waiting, outside knocking. Hicks started working with the Arlington police early on, but since the attacks were coming from computers in Boston, it was hard for Arlington officers to get their hands on him. We were convinced that she was physically in danger. After Steinman started coming to Arlington to slash her tires, Arlington police finally caught him, knife in hand, laptops full of evidence in his car. He was caught slashing her tires again while we were watching the house. Though Steinman pleaded guilty, the judge threw the book at him. Seven years for extortion, felony identity theft, and stalking, six times longer than the guidelines. Hicks's attorney in a civil case against Steinman says the laws need to catch up. People are becoming more creative. They, they're still as diabolical as they always were, but here is just a new avenue. As for the Hickses? We can finally live a normal life again. It feels good, really good. Despite the sensitive nature of this case, both Sarita Hicks and her daughter wanted to go on camera to clear their names. No, they are not prostitutes. They were the victims of a vicious cyber attack from a boyfriend from hell.